Tail and welcome back to another video. Now, a few days ago, and it was actually a little bit longer than a few days ago, but basically I uh, I said that you guys can submit your fan fictions and or green screen edits of me to my Discord in uh, very specific channels. So if you haven't joined the Discord and you want to participate in more things like this in the future, the Discord will be in the link in the description or it'll be in the pinned comment, one of the two. So you can check both places. I suggest just going to the comments first because that's usually where I put it. So before I continue with the video, I just wanted to say that if you guys hear like a buzzing sound in the background, that it's actually somebody cutting grass like next to my house. And I can't, obviously I can't control that. I'm not going to wait till they're done because I want to get this video done today, which means I have to send it to Crawl by today. And he has to edit it by today and then send it to me by tonight so I can upload it today before midnight. And that's basically the whole point. So I got to try to get this done quickly and uh, hopefully you guys don't hear it. Hopefully there will be music over this part so you really won't hear it and I'll try to mask it off uh the best that i can but anyway let's continue so originally the green screen video and the uh fan fiction video were going to be one and the same but i realized that's a lot of content to put in one video when i could just split it up into two videos and have more content for myself so expect a green screen video sometime this week but uh yeah let's get into the submissions so i have downloaded all of the fanfics and i i have four of them um i haven't read one of them i did read another one of them or two of the other ones which I have to try my best to censor those because I have read them and um, let's just say they are not very safe for work and a lot of the things on there I cannot say on YouTube so we're just going to take it the farthest that we can and the most comfortable that I feel because I, I don't know how this is going to work out yet. Some of these things are um, a little bit more on the creative side if you know what I mean. Okay, so the very first fan fiction we're going to be reading is by my editor, Crawfish, actually. He actually has some art that he made for this, so that'll be up on screen right now, which actually looks really cool, so I'm excited for this. Art by Crawfish, written by Crawfish, all rights reserved, and then he has his uh, copyright thing there. This is the fan fiction he wanted me to write, and I'm adding this tidbit so the link doesn't spoil it, because apparently it needs a preview. So here's that little preview, LMAO, with the letter z about fifty thousand times now i didn't ask him to write this i said that if anyone wants to write one to be featured in the video then they could so he chose to do this i didn't ask him to do it just want to put that out there chapter one scene one. Oh, hey d crawfish sent through discord i got that video you edited or you wanted edited sorry it took a little bit longer than expected that's okay detail responded hastily Thank you for being a loyal editor. I'm going to pay you for all of your hard work as I know that editing is a hard job and I know you have a talent for it. Detail then pays Crawfish. The end. Wow. You know, Crawl, I was excited for this. Honestly, you told me don't read it until the day of filming. I should have do something was up, bro. I was so excited to read this and it's literally like only 15 seconds worth of dialogue. Bummer. Okay, let's get into the next one. Oh, wow. I'm actually kind of irritated. Okay, so the next one we're reading is titled Xmas Present. Daddy X Crawl version 2. What the <sighs> Okay. It was Christmas. Crawl was opening presents when he remembered Daddy Detail. Crawl wanted to get him off his mind, but he couldn't forget that one night. Crawl continued opening his gifts, but suddenly he found a present that wasn't from his relatives. He opened the present slowly and revealed a picture of detail. And next to the picture, a note then said, Come see me. Crawl immediately realized that this present was from detail, and he started to get... I'm not going to say that word. Crawl followed the instructions and went to detail's house. When Crawl arrived, he knocked on the door. The door immediately opened, and Crawl was pulled into the house. Crawl didn't expect to be grabbed so quickly, but he didn't mind being held by... Daddy's long, buff, veiny arms. This time, Crawl was not pulled onto Detail's bed. He was carried to a room that was filled with kinky torture devices and gadgets. Before Crawl could even comprehend what was going on, Daddy cupped him onto a bed. Crawl's, I'm not going to say that, was bulging out of his pants. Menacing tone. You're going to, okay, I can't say that. Jeez, what is this? It's literally just an entire encyclopedia of disgusting things that I cannot say on here. I'm trying to find for one good sentence, but honestly, I can't. Uh, let's see. 
Crawl was in pain, but also in pleasure. Detail wanted to torture Crawl. Detail started going even faster, making Crawl scream. Okay, buddy, that's, um... You know, if this was an OnlyFans video, I'd have no problem reading this out loud, but since this is going on YouTube... Uh, yeah, I'm not reading the rest of this, so we're just gonna go to the next one, because there is no way in hell I am reading this and putting it on my channel. Not gonna happen. YouTube will kick me off of their platform in seconds. Okay, so we are on the next one. Um, it's called Detail X Crawl. Why? Why are they about detail- Why are they about myself and my editor, dude? What's going on here? Why? Wait, what's the point there? <sighs> okay. Detail was a- <laughs> It was a lovely evening. Crawl started walking in the street. The weather was nice and the breeze was refreshing, but Crawl just couldn't get detail off his mind. Nevertheless, Crawl walked back home, still thinking about Daddy Detail. I need to tell him, Crawl told himself. I need to tell him that I can't get him off my mind. Crawl picked up his phone and rang, Daddy, hello? Detail answered the call. Um, hi, Crawl said nervously. Do you, do you want to talk in real life? Uh, okay, where do you want to meet? Detail accepted. How about your place? Crawl nervously asked. Sure, Detail said in a cheerful tone. Crawl couldn't believe he's going to f going to Detail's house. He got ready and left. On his way to Detail's house, he just couldn't stop thinking about Detail and his bit. <sighs> After a couple of minutes of walking, Crawl arrived at his house. He went and knocked on the door, and then Detail opened the door. Hey, Detail said in a flirtatious way, come in, what? Just before Crawl could greet him, Detail dragged him onto the bed. Crawl well surprised, he was, all right, we're not reading that. Well, gulps, I've been thinking about you lately, Crawl said with hesitation. I, I just can't keep you off my mind. Not surprising coming from you. You're a, can't say that. And I love it, Detail said in a dominant tone. I, <laughs> I can't, I, I can't read this. Guys, how are you expecting me to read a fan fiction that is so NSFW, I can barely read a few sentences without... <sighs> I'm just gonna read the last sentence. Crawl was nearly unconscious, but he really enjoyed that night, really. This is what you're doing to me now. You're... <sighs> let's, just, let's just go to the next one. Oh. Okay, so we have one more left, and I have serious faith in this one. This one is actually about Minx, which is, uh... <laughs> I mean, you guys know how I feel about Minx, so we'll see. I hope this one isn't too bad, you know? I I don't know what to expect, but uh, we're going to check it out. We're going to see it together, and hopefully things aren't as bad as the previous ones. Okay, um, Daddy X Minx. Uh, that's an interesting way to start it off. It was a bright and sunny day. Daddy was going to get groceries when he bumped into a stranger. He looked at the stranger and said, Oh, I'm sorry. Then just before he continued on his path, the stranger looked at him and said, Oh, it's not a big deal. And at that moment, Daddy realized that he had bumped not into a random stranger. Stranger, I'm sorry. I just, I'm so messed up from the other ones. I can't even read properly. <laughs> not into a random stranger, but into Minx herself. Detail in total awe and excitement said, Oh, it's Minx. Um, hello. Uh, I, I'm a big fan. Hey, it's, it's always nice to meet a fan. How are you doing? My female voice is terrible. Minx greeted with happiness. Detail couldn't believe that Minx was striking a conversation with him. I'm great. How about you? Detail excitingly said. I'm doing good. What are you doing? Or where are you going? Minx answered. Detail knew that this is his only chance to talk to Minx. Um, just walking around. Say, do you want to maybe grab a coffee or something? Detail said nervously. Sure. How about Starbucks in half an hour? Minx said calmly. Oh, that's... that sounds great, Detail said ecstatically. Detail exchanged numbers with Minx and rushed back to his home. He was very nervous but also excited. He put on his best clothes and quickly rushed to Starbucks. There he met Minx and they sat down and ordered a coffee. They chatted... Blah, blah, blah. They chatted for a bit, drinking their coffee, and when they were ready to split off, Minx said, Hey, do you want to go back to my place? Okay. You know, I think I could see where this is going, and I'm not sure I appreciate it. Detail thought that he was dreaming, but he couldn't decline. 
Sure, Detail said excitingly. Detail spotted something about Minx. She was always smiling and looking at Detail in a seductive way. Detail realized that she was flirting with him and he started to get, I can't say that word. They got back to Minx's hotel, sat down on the bed and began chit-chatting. The conversation was becoming more steamy. Minx started to get closer to Daddy. Detail's area was bulging out of his pants and Minx, <laughs> Minx wanted it. Minx slowly crawled to Detail. She started caressing his cheeks and starting to lick her lips. Detail leaned in and slowly started to kiss Minx. Minx embraced Detail and they started to French kiss. Minx slowly started to take off. Alright, that's um... You know what? Continuing to read all of this, I... There is nothing else I can use. Everything just goes downhill from here. Literally. That, that's, that's it. Okay, so after reading these, um, I'm very disappointed. Disappointed as in nearly all of the ones that I read that were actually longer than three pages were about me having some sort of sexual contact with somebody. So, I, uh, you know, I was hoping for something a little bit more normal because I couldn't really read any of them on screen without having to cut things out. Um, actually, I could read I could read crawls, but I could read crawls in about 15 seconds. So anyway, green screen video should be out at some point this week. This was a mistake. This I am now scarred for life. You guys have officially ruined me, and I don't know how to respond. I, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this. <laughs> this has been Detail. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, oh God. Okay, it's time. This can't be no homegirl dropping like the Nasdaq. Move white girls like this coke up my ass crack. Move black girls, cause man, fuck it, I'll do either. I love pussy, I love bitches, dude. I should be running Peter in Adidas with some short shorts. B O O R over me, my green is where it's.